Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this password armor lock. So what it does is it basically keeps your armor stand private from other players. So if I go ahead and throw this piece of paper named Cheese into this hopper here, this glass is going to open up. We can then retrieve our armor. The cool thing is if you press this button, you get the piece of paper back and the glass will retract. Now once you're done, simply throw the piece of paper into the hopper again, place your armor back on the stand, and then you can retrieve the paper again by pressing the button. Now the password doesn't have to be cheese, it can be whatever you want, but on that note, I'm going to show you guys how to build this now. So the materials you're going to need is 11 redstone dust, 2 redstone torches, 1 redstone repeater, 2 redstone comparators, three hoppers, two droppers, two sticky pistons, one button of your choice, I've just gotten a stone one, one half slab of your choice, two glass panes, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that you want to do is decide where you want to put the glass for your case and this will allow you to position this a lot easier. So I'm going to be doing mine right here. So you want to dig down two blocks, place down a sticky piston at the bottom facing upwards, then get one of your glass panes and place it on top. We're then going to get five blocks of our choice and create a five tool tower. Now you want to destroy the four blocks under it. And then place your last sticky piston on the bottom of that block facing downwards and then get your last glass pane and then place it under it too. Now what we need to do is dig a 5 wide by 2 long by 2 deep hole. So what you want to do is come to your glass here, go down one block, then go to the left and we're going to start here. So we want to dig one block there and then dig four more to the right. So one, two, three, four. Then we're simply going to dig back one block and then go to the left now, back to the start here. And then just dig down one more layer. Now where we started, we want to place two droppers facing upwards like this. So when you do that, make sure you're crouching or you'll be opening up the GOI. Then we're going to get our hoppers and we're going to place them going into this bottom dropper here one more to the right and then one on top of here again make sure you're crouching when you place them so the funnels should go down into this one to the left to the left into this dropper now on the right side of this bottom hopper here we're going to place a redstone comparator facing towards the right we're then going to lead that into a block place a redstone um, to the right of the block here we're going to dig out this block to the left and then place redstone down at the bottom there. Now what we actually need to do is get a redstone torch under this hopper here. So what we're gonna do is don't dig out this block, dig out this one to the left here, dig down two, then we're then going to dig the blocks in front of it, and then we're gonna go there and dig out the one to the right, place it on this back face of the block there, and now we can cover this up, so just get your dirt back, place it there, and we're good to go. Now back where we actually started digging out, what we want to do is place a piece of redstone dust down and then a redstone repeater going into this dropper here. Now dig out the two blocks behind each of these and then place two redstone dust down and it should connect up like so. Now we need to do a little bit more digging. What we want to do is dig out the block behind these droppers here. So dig down two blocks and then we're going to do a two by two by two cube. So we want to start here, so two down there, two down there, then two to the right, and then two to the right like so. Coming out of this bottom dropper here, we want to place a redstone comparator. We're going to lead that into a block, and then on the right side of this block, place a redstone torch, and then you'll notice that piston will extend up. We're then going to place a piece of redstone dust behind the torch here, and then we're going to dig out this block here, place redstone there, and then redstone right to the top. Now temporarily place a block to the left of the redstone there like so, and then get your half slab and place it on the top half of the block 
like so. We can we can then destroy this block that we just placed down. And then place your piece of redstone dust on top of there. Now we need to lead this up to the piston, so we're simply going to place a block behind the glass like so, and then a block in front of the redstone there, and then place your two remaining pieces of redstone dust on top of those two blocks. Now finally, get another block of your choice, and we're going to place it on top of this redstone dust here, and then place your button on top of that. Now we're done with the construction, what we've got to do now is configure it, so this is where you'll be able to decide what password you need to use to open up the case. So you're going to need an anvil, four blocks such as cobblestone, and then 18 um, pieces of paper. So what we're going to do is rename the cobblestone. So you want to place the cobblestone into an anvil. Now make sure you rename this to a really random name, so I'm just literally going to just spam a ton of like characters in like that because no one is going to guess that at all. You want to go down and open up this item hopper at the bottom here and place your four um, cobblestone in the four last slots. We're then going to place our paper into the anvil here and this is where you can choose your password. So I might choose the part or well, the word cheese. We're going to take that out and then simply put it into the first slot of this bottom hopper and you are ready to go by the way this is where your armor stand is going to go on top of this block here now at that point in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this works and it is very simple hopefully my explanation will prove that so let's go ahead and let's start with the item hoppers here so when we throw our password into this top hopper here what this is going to do is this bottom item hopper is going to check whether the item above is an paper item but it also has to be named the word cheese if it is it's going to let it down into this bottom hopper here now what happens is when this ticks over to 19 items it's actually going to send out a signal through this comparator which then this is going to send out a strength of 2 right now it is a strength of 1 so when it reaches 2 it's going to unpower this torch down below which then allows one item to come out of this hopper here and then go into that dropper over there. So the item comes into this bottom dropper and once it's in that dropper there, this redstone comparator is going to pick it up that there's an item in there. It's going to send out a signal into this block, turning off this redstone torch, which then this unpowers both of these pistons and allows you to collect your armor. Then once you've done that, you can go ahead and press this button here. This button will power that redstone, powering this repeater, which then powers these droppers and sends the item back up to the top here. There will no longer be an item at the bottom of this dropper, so this comparator will turn off, allowing this torch to turn back on, which then closes the glass case. Now why I renamed the cobblestone just to a random string of letters is because this will prevent cobblestone actually being thrown in the machine. So if I go ahead and get out some cobblestone right now, and I throw it into the top hopper here, you'll notice that it stays at the top here. Now the only way the cobblestone could get into the system is if it was named exactly like this but um, because we've got a random string of uh, characters um, it's going to be virtually impossible for somebody to actually guess it. But anyway that's going to end off this redstone tutorial today. If you guys enjoyed make sure you hit that like button show your support for this series. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials let me know down in the comments below. And also check out the redstone tutorial playlist because I've got a bunch of redstone contraptions you might like to learn how to build. But anyway, that's going to end off this video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.